What's up YouTube? Um, today I'm going to show you how you can change the slider texts on your iPod Touch, your iPhone. Um, those are the things like the slide to unlock when you're on your lock screen, slide to power off, slide to answer, and slide to cancel your sync whenever you plug it into your computer. For this video you are going to need to know how to SSH. I have a video on that if you're unsure, just check my channel. Okay, let's get into this. Okay, so first step is to create a new folder on Windows. That's just right click, go to new folder, and then you're going to title this whatever you want it to show up like when you're in Winterboard. So this can be anything you want. I have text change just as an example right there. Now open that folder, and in this folder you're going to want to create a new folder called Bundles, exactly like you see it there, capital B-U-N-D-L-E-S. And then in that folder you're going to want to create another one, exactly like you see there, called com.apple.springboard, all lowercase. And inside that one, call, one called en.lproj, all lowercase. Okay, now you're going to want to open up your SSH, and you're going to want to navigate to the page um, var slash stash slash themes. And by default, you'll have one called a saric.theme. Open that up, open up the bundles, the com.apple springboard, the en.ilproj, and now open up the exact same place on the folder you created, mine called text change in this video, and you're going to want to um, copy over the file from the Sauric theme into the the en.lproj folder on the folder you created. Now once you've done that you're just going to want to um, go back to the main folder on your, the th folder you created and the main theme folder on your SSH and just drag and drop um, your folder onto your iPod. Make sure that it's not over one of those where it's blue because that'll go inside. Just go there, drop it, and click copy. Okay, now you're going to go to your device and go to your Cydia. Now once that's open, you're going to want to go to your Manage tab, Sources, Edit. Um, you're going to want to be adding that sinful iPhone repo, so hit the Edit, Add, and type in its sinful, S-I-N-F-U-L, iPhone, repo, R-E-P-O dot com and just hit add source I already have it so I just hit cancel here and once it's added go to your search and you're going to want to type in I file and it should be called I file correct as you see there you're just gonna want to click on that and you would hit install here Okay, once you have that downloaded, it should show up as an icon on your screen board, springboard and just click it. And here it'll show you all like, it's basically SSH, but you can see your files. And so you're going to want to navigate to the var slash stash slash themes. And then once that's open, you're going to want to um, find the file of whatever you created. I'm working on a theme and I need to do it for this theme so it's just going to be called theme in progress yours will be called whatever so go to your bundles com.apple.springboard and then the en.whatever file and it should say springboard.strings open it now here's where it gets a little confusing to change your slide to unlock text which is on your lock screen you're going to want to type the very first one you see here which is away lock label equals and then your text here you're going to want to type it exactly like that so the quotation then all capital away lock label with the underscores there in quotation space equals space quotation then whatever you want it to say like you could put slide me or whatever then in quotation then a semicolon which is just a dot and then like a comma on the bottom not the double dot just a dot and then a comma and now for the um, slide to power off one, that'd be the power down lock label. Um, 
space equals space, you know, your text exactly like you see there. Slide answer is your when you're getting a call, and then slide to cancel is the um, when you plug it in and it's trying to sync. Okay, so here I'm just going to do a little example. Um, I'll just let you watch this. On the ones I have in there, um, you'll see on the on three of them that I have no words in between the quotations, so that just makes it to where there is no text there at all. Okay, when you have it all typed out, um, you're going to want to hit the save button up in the right corner, and then um, you're going to want to go to your winter board and apply whatever it is and let it respring here. Um, I do a reboot because I already have the theme selected, so I have to reboot it to let the changes take place. Okay, now once it respring's, um, here's my lock screen. See there, it has no text like I had typed. And then on my power one, you'll see there's no text. I don't have the iPhone, so I can't show you the answer one, but it works the exact same way. Alright guys, uh, this is a little bit confusing, so be sure to comment if you have any questions. Also, read the description because I will post some of the important information there. Thanks for watching.